Good evening everyone and today we're going to be taking a look at Project 7000 which is a custom Windows 7 theme which is designed to take the final build of Windows 7 which is build 7601 that's if you count service pack 1 which is um, different in terms of aesthetics compared to the beta theme so what I've done here is I've created a theme for those of you who prefer the beta look of Windows 7 with like the beta fish and all that. So I've created a VM here. I haven't yet installed it. So yeah, the setup has also been modified to look like the Windows 7 beta, which is build 7000, which is one of the more famous and well-known beta builds of Windows 7. I designed it personally because I like the beta theme of Windows 7 more than the final look. And I think most people I know actually prefer the beta theme. So yeah, let's just wait for this to load up. Yeah, there we go, as you can see, it's got the beta wallpaper and everything. So let's just select our languages and all that. Now let's just wait for it to load and all that. Yeah, here we go, let's accept the license agreement and let's install it. So yeah, the, um, the installation theme is practically identical and practically fully resembles that of the Windows 7 beta background and theme and all that, except it doesn't say for testing purposes only like it does in the actual beta theme. So what I wanted this theme to be, I didn't want it to be exactly like the beta theme because there were some things I didn't like about it. What I wanted to do was like keep the functionality of the final build of Windows 7 but have the theme of the beta builds and I've also included all the themes like Windows 7 has theme packs and it was the first version of Windows to introduce theme packs. So what I've done is that I've ported over all the theme packs from the beta builds of Windows 7, well all the theme packs from Windows 7 build 7000 and I've ported them all over here to this theme. So yeah, I'll demonstrate that once it's completed installing. So here we are in the out of box experience. So I'm just going to create a user, I'm just going to call it Windows 7, not Windows 7, Windows 7. Yep, there we go. I'm just going to click next and skip all that. Yep, there we go. So now we just wait for it to load in and log on to the desktop and all that. Right, so here we are at the log on screen. As you can tell by the where it says welcome, there's no there's no shadowing as opposed to the final build in Windows 7 where there's shadowing and Windows 7 Business was later renamed to Windows 7 Professional like in Windows XP. Well, Windows Vista Professional was Windows Vista Business, but Windows 7 Beta Builds said Windows 7 Business instead of Windows 7 Professional. So I've taken the branding from Windows 7 Build 7000 and poured it over to here. So now we're going to install VMware Tools so I can showcase the themes and all that. Sometimes it takes a while to load. Autoplay takes forever most of the time. So I just had to manually do it myself. There's not much change to the Explorer. I'm still finding a way to change the um, preview panel down here where my mouse is hovering over because in build 7000 that's slightly different, this, it's slightly more textured while this is just a boring kind of plainish looking panel. And I've also changed some more icons as well but we, we'll get to that as soon as I've installed Wind like VMware tools and then we can go into further detail. So here we are, VMware tools is now installed and Let's go into further detail, so here we have the basic theme which is pretty much identical to that of the Windows 7 Build 7000 theme because just a brief little overview of Project 7000, Project 7000 aims to take the Build 7000 look of Windows 7 and apply it to the final build which is Build 7601. That includes Service Pack 2, not Service Pack 2, sorry, Service Pack 1. The RTM was 7600, that was the RTM release of Windows 7. So um, what we have here is the start menu like I mentioned earlier with all the Vista icons. And another icon that is a Vista icon is the control panel icon as you can see up here, look. And another thing is the um, flower, this is the Windows Vista flower, where it has like a center view of the of like a Gerber or something, but if you take a look at the final Windows 7 back default background, it's the same image from a different perspective. So now we're going to apply the Aero theme. Well, multiple Aero themes. As you can see here, I've ported over all of the older beta backgrounds. So we're going to apply the standard default Aero theme for now though. And there are some slight differences to the Aero theme, but firstly, before I go into that, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure it's, you've noticed this by now. I've also changed the applet sidebar, as you can see here. 
Now this is my favourite thing about Build 7000, because I've always really liked the um, applet sidebar, the way it has like a blue kind of aurora to it. I've always really liked that, and I've always wished that the final build of Windows 7 has had this instead of like a boring grey kind of look to it. So yeah, this is um, that's that. And if you take a look at these window buttons over here, watch when I maximise this window, you can see that it has Vista-esque like, icons. Because like Build 7000 had, um, if you look at Window 7, where where my mouse is pointing right now, with this maximise icon, well this restore icon, that the centre wasn't filled in. The centre was like see-through. Well, this has been filled in, if you know what I mean. So yeah, and I've also changed the arrow snap animation. If you see like the like the um, arrow snap animation when you when you like snap at the window to a side where the cursor is, is like a little shock wave animation, and that is like the exact same as the build 7000 one, which is ever so slightly different. So right here's the start button. As you can see, it's got the same animation as the Windows 7 build 7000 start button. And if you take a look at the shutdown text here, that it's slightly sharper. The box has got a slightly sharper aesthetic to it, and where it says shutdown, it, it says it like both of the letters are in capitals because if you look at the final build of Windows 7, the word shut had a capital S, but the word down had a lowercase s. So as you can see here, look, it's identical to that of build 7000. And if you have a look here, when this is not hovered, but when it's pressed, it's like a grey kind of colour. But on Build 7000, it had like a darker kind of colour, and I've also ported that over as well. This is Milestone 3, which is um, which was updated last year, back in 2021, June 3rd, if I can rem remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I, I don't really... I think this is the best I can do to my ability at the moment before I can learn how to do certain things. If as soon as I get to as soon as I learn how to modify the window shell effectively, I will be able to import over like the applet sidebar into the control panel. But yep, yeah, let's have a look at the gadgets. As you can see here, this is the gadgets icon from Vista because um the beta build of Windows 7, build 7000 which this is based on, also had a Vista icon and it had Vista gadgets as well. So as you can see the slideshow gadget is that of Vista and the clock and all, well, all the gadgets are pretty much from Vista, especially this media center gadget. Well this media center gadget wasn't from Vista however this gadget right here was from Build 7000. So yeah we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put all these gadgets on here. We've already got the slideshow one, the picture puzzle and all that, calendar etc. Yeah, these are all pretty much Vista versions of the gadgets. And another thing is the backgrounds. Let's have a look at the backgrounds. So this is the default theme for Windows 7. The beta fish background, which I really like. I really do like the beta fish background. Here's another theme. So what I'm going to do is just showcase all these backgrounds. These are all Windows 7 beta backgrounds, by the way. These themes are all from Windows 7. Project 7000, and I personally really like the beta backgrounds, I, I wish they weren't scrapped. As good as the backgrounds actually were in Windows 7, I have to say that Windows 7 definitely has some of the best backgrounds that Windows operating systems have. Vistas were alright, but I think Windows 7 did have better backgrounds than Vista, and I think Windows 11's got pretty good backgrounds too. So this is the UK United Kingdom theme, as this is UK. This will change depending on the location you are, as in, um, you know, if you install Windows 7 in a certain region and select certain regions in the out of box experience, there will be backgrounds applied which were taken in that location, if you know what I mean. So like if you install Windows the Windows 7, you'll get like a theme, say if you're in the United States, you'll get like a theme called United States. So yeah, I've also, if you were to still install Project 7000 in the United States, you would get the Build 7000 United States theme, if you know what I mean. So yeah. Actually no, I haven't gone through this theme fully yet, so yeah, this, this, these are the backgrounds from the United Kingdom, let me just go through all those. And I've also included Dream Scene as well, I've also included a Dream Scene background. This isn't official, but someone on DeviantArt has managed to make a, like, you know the logon background on build 7000 right here, someone has managed to make like a dynamic version of that. 
So right, here's another theme. Here's like some more beta wallpapers featured in Windows 7, which I think are very nice. I personally really like this one here, and this one as well. I think these are randomised, these wallpapers actually, I don't think they're in order. And these are all like Vista backgrounds, Windows 7, Build 7000 had some Vista backgrounds. These are all like the Light Aura backgrounds in Windows Vista. So I'm pretty sure most of it, most Vista users are familiar with that. So right, here's the basic theme, we've been through that. So yeah, another thing is, um, if you take a quick look at the um, hover, when you hover over the icons, it's the, it's the same as Build 7000 because the final build in Windows 7 had an ever such slightly different animation when you hover over it and when you close it as well. When you like start up the application, if you like open it, let me just um, open that without pressing the icon. So let me just type Explorer. Yeah, like you'll get like a certain, when you hover over it, you'll get like a border around the icon, as you can see with where my mouse is pointing. On the final build of Windows 7, it doesn't really show. This send feedback icon is just a dummy, it's just there for aesthetic purposes. I don't know how to get that working. That's just there for aesthetic purposes. And I've also included all of the Windows 7 build 7000 sample pictures, which I really like. These are definitely better than the final Windows 7 sample pictures in my opinion. Right, speaking of the dream scenes, let me just show you that real quickly. I've added like a secret dream scene. So let me just um, find it. So we're going to click on here and um, click the browse button. Then we're just going to click the browse button. Go through here. Windows. Web. Yeah, let's look for a folder called Web. And this Windows Dream Scene folder. Mm, that didn't work. Hold on, let me, just, let me just try another way. It's like, yeah, go in the Windows directory and yeah, here we are. So just click set as desktop background. And here you go, you've got the logon background dream scene, as you can see here, look, which fits very well and very nicely with the theme. Except, sadly, for some weird reason, it can be a bit buggy at times, the text is a bit funny. But that, that automatically like fixes itself after a certain amount of time. Sometimes a restart can fix that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And just before we end the video, we're going to show off this shutdown screen. Yeah, so here we are. This is the shutdown screen, identical to that build 7000. So yeah, that wraps up this video. And thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope you get a chance to try out Project 7000. And if you do, I hope you guys like it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll, I'll see you guys soon.